against you or go against, amen, my Roman law. Jesus endured those things. I thought about, amen, how that, amen, these things took place. And still yet, amen, he isn't the one thing the word of God teaches us that the church is to have any glory in. Amen. You go back there and read in the book of Galatians chapter 6 about verse 14. There's just one thing. Amen. One thing that you and I can glory in. We can praise and honor and worship, if you will, so to speak. And amen. Amen. The Bible teaches us that we, but God, amen, would have us forbid that I should glory save in anything other than the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tonight, uh, we, amen, as a church tonight, uh, amen, can't glory in uh, the financial state of the church. Um, amen. Uh, we can't sit around and glory in uh, the nice building uh, that God's blessed us to have tonight. Uh, amen. We can't, as a church family, uh, uh, sit back and, and praise God, glory, uh, take glory in the stained glass windows uh, or, or the how many baptisms, uh, amen, we performed uh, uh, this year. Uh, uh, we can't take glory uh, in the pipe organs uh, or the musical instruments uh, that God's blessed us to have. Uh, honey, listen, we can't take uh, uh, my glory uh, in the prestigious uh, uh, memberships uh, amen, that is enrolled uh, in the church family. Uh, honey, listen, we can't take glory in those things, uh, but we can tonight uh, uh, take glory uh, in the cross uh, of Jesus Christ. We've sort of got away from those things. I, I sat down and I studied and I thought and wrote down a few little things just to keep myself reminded. Without the cross, tonight you'll have ritual without righteousness. Amen. You'll have ceremony without change. Amen. You'll have hype without holiness. You'll have meetings without the Holy Spirit. Oh, my goodness, tonight. You see, the cross of Jesus Christ signifies much more than just death. Honey, the cross symbolizes a man willing, honey, listen, to surrender himself completely to the will of the Father. And through, praise God, his death, burial, and resurrection. I say glory to God. You and I have the privilege of being saved and born again into the family of God. Amen. So amen. There's a lot about the cross. Amen. That's often missed. Amen. I ask people a lot about, uh, amen, this encounter I'm talking about Jesus. And I get told a lot, Brother James, uh, I realize uh, I need to be forgiven. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm going to go a little deeper tonight if you'll let me. Amen. Uh, I believe you need just a little more uh, than to be forgiven tonight. Um, amen. Uh, I believe we all need to be changed. Uh, amen. Uh, and the only way we can be changed uh, is if we come by the way uh, of the cross. Amen. Uh, if we'll come to that place. Uh, uh, truly, amen, uh, repenting of our sin uh, and surrendering our heart uh, to Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll not only be forgiven, uh, but glory be to God, uh, we'll be changed. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. amen. What is amen? We need more than just forgiveness. We need a change. We need a change. We need a change. The world still needs a change. It needs more than just to be forgiven. It needs a change. And there's only one way tonight you and I can get that change. It's if we come by the cross of Jesus Christ. There's no other way tonight. Amen. I thought about that old song coming down here. Amen. Woo, praise the Lord. At the cross, at the cross where I who first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I'm happy all the day. But I said, glory to God tonight. What a change the Lord will make in you. Oh, glory. If you get truly changed, amen, if you really get to the cross, amen, and you really, amen, repent of your sin, and sincerely and humbly, amen, with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, as the word of God teaches, that means you're earnest, amen, that means you're real, amen, you're not, amen, seeking to entertain, you're not putting on airs for anybody, honey, listen, you're looking for more than a quick fix, you're looking for a real fix, amen, amen, 
You're really wanting a real change. I mean a deep, a deep soul cleansing. Hallelujah. I said a deep soul a cleansing change whereby your mind has been renewed. Your soul has been set free from the captivity of sin. There's only one way, and that's to come by the way of the cross. Amen. Preacher, all I got to do is confess my sins, and he's faithful and just to forgive me of my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Amen. That's true, but you still got to come by the way of the cross to get a change made. Whoa, what change will he make, Brother James? He'll change you from a sinner, amen, that's lost and undone, to a saved, born again, a child of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Whoa, my goodness. You'll find security uh, like you've never known uh, when you come uh, by the way of the cross. Uh, oh, what do you mean, preacher? Uh, I mean, you'll find a friend uh, that'll never leave you uh, nor forsake you, but will go with you to the ends of the world. Uh, you'll find a refuge. Uh, honey, listen, uh, that'll stand uh, the test of times uh, and the worlds uh, of the world. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, you'll find the armor. Uh, amen. Listen, uh, to have victory over the enemy. Uh, you'll find these things uh, at the foot uh, of the cross yeah, yeah. at the cross yeah. Jesus said himself Matthew 16 24 if any man come after me let him deny himself take up his cross his cross your cross, you got to take your cross. I got to take my cross, and we got to follow him. Woo! What do you mean, preacher? You've got to willingly surrender yourself to the will of Almighty God. It isn't any longer the flesh, but it's now the spirit, honey, that has control in your life. We need a change. We need a change. People tell me we don't need the old thing. Amen. It's still the same thing. There's just one way. Amen. I don't care how you dress it up and dial it up, and I don't care what you try to make it be. It's still just one way. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come unto the Father except by me. He declared it. He spoke it. It's there. It'll not change. It'll not waver. It'll stand. Honey, when he comes, it'll stand on judgment day. It'll stand all the way into the kingdom of heaven tonight. I ask you a simple question tonight. Have you had a change made in your life? Amen. Because if there hadn't been a change, there hadn't been a work. And if there hadn't been a work, you ain't saved tonight. Boy, preacher, you're getting blunt. I'm just being honest tonight. Amen. Anything Jesus got around and touched, anything Jesus spoke to changed. Amen. He changed things. Amen. He took a hearted, amen. Oh, my goodness. That had been caught in the very act of adultery. Brought in, praise God, by devout men and cast down before Jesus. Amen. Told Jesus, this woman has been caught in the very act, amen, of adultery. They, amen, were looking and anticipating for Jesus to stand up and say, this woman needs to be stoned to death. But Jesus, amen, my listen, as he was in a no doubt nilt position, just wrote there in the sand a few minutes, whoo, Glory to God. That's a merciful God we've got. That's, amen, a gracious God.